Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove guys or how to replace steering wheel airbag on Fiat 500 guys. It should cover the whole first generation on Fiat 500. Stay with us guys and we will show you how to do that. Now, there are two different kinds of airbags. So we're going to cover all that. Quick introduction guys to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two, 200 free repair videos guys. And on Fiat 500, we'll have probably three to 400 repair videos. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to our channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing these free videos if you guys need to buy replacement parts tools or anything like that for your fiat uh, guys uh, we'll have the link in the description of the video below and we'll share everything that we use there and all the parts as well now let me show you what we have here guys okay this is a 2015 fiat 500 this is the airbag right here that we need to uh, go ahead and remove so what we're going to do now okay I'm going to show you guys here on the inside. Let me show you, this is uh, the steering wheel, this is the airbag, and we'll go ahead and show you what needs to be done to get that thing out of there now. So let's go ahead and start on it. First thing guys, we need to open the hood of that Fiat. Now, doesn't matter what Fiat you have guys, procedure will be the same as I said. We need to go ahead, open the hood, and we'll show you why guys. Every time you disconnect an airbag, you need to make sure that you disconnect your car battery for at least one hour, okay? before you start messing with the airbag that way the system will discharge and the possibility for something to blow up it's less likely now if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbags don't do it guys i wouldn't consider doing it if i'm not qualified so always guys uh, always uh, know okay what is right what is not and if if you don't feel confident take it to a specialist now let's open you need to guys disconnect your car battery for one hour there is a special way to disconnect your car battery so you don't cause any damage to the electronics or the engine computer on your fiat so we'll have the video on the channel guys and we'll have the link in the description of the video below how to properly disconnect car battery it matters if you remove the positive or the negative first so you have to check it out guys and it's very important how you reconnect it later as well so that being said guys okay let us show you what we have here so this is guys the airbag okay right here now how we are going to remove that thing okay let me explain now uh, we need to guys uh, remove one plastic underneath so we can get to it and show you where all three clips are located so now guys next step okay we're going to scoot the seat all the way to the back this is uh, the fiat right here and underneath guys here we're going to have two screws okay that we will need to remove one here one there and those are guys okay with a few screwdriver okay just like this one right here fuel screwdriver so we're going to go ahead remove the two screws and we'll show you what else we need to do after that not too complicated okay just need to find the screws now okay so let's go ahead remove both of them okay you can see what i'm talking about and then we just have uh, one more that we need to remove on the other side now these screws will be a little bit tight they will not come out so easy because it's screw that screws in the plastic piece so it's uh, if they haven't been removed okay let me show you what they look like they will come out a little bit harder guys okay this is the screw few head screwdriver now we're removing the one on the other side okay we're almost almost there now You can see just working on that second one perfect ca came out now we may need to uh, pull that handle down okay and we should have a couple clips holding that piece in place to the top piece so let me get a clip removal tool now guys and i'll show you how we're going to separate it so we get the plastic panel removal tools guys and we're going to separate the two pieces now make sure that we don't uh, break anything we're going to go ahead uh, again in there be careful because the cork spring is there so there is a couple of clips usually holding everything in place okay this one came out now let's get the other one and we're going to pry a little bit there as well
And looks like we have one more clip towards the back that we cannot get to. What do we need to do? Grab the steering wheel, pull it. Okay, oh, it doesn't pull at all. Okay, this clip came loose as well. Now let's do the other side. We need to come around the steering wheel. So let me come on this side and I will try to show you. Okay, how we will pull it out of here. It came loose. There is one clip on the back and pull that trim piece all the way down. You can see where are all the clips now. Okay. Uh, you have two clips on top, one, two, then three right here, and two on the other side. So all together, guys, six clips that hold that plastic piece in place. So now, guys, on certain models, Fiat 500, okay, you may need to remove that plastic piece. On ours, you don't, and you will have three clips here on the steering wheel, one on each spoke, guys, and you have to turn the steering wheel to one, then the other one, and come all the way around. In our case, guys, it's not that way, so you don't need to remove the plastic. If you guys uh, turn your steering wheel and you have a hole, okay, you can see where the hole is, one here, and you have one more on the other side, Okay, check it out. It's this hole right here. You guys don't need to remove any plastic or anything like that. And we will show you guys, okay, how to actually go ahead and remove the uh, steering wheel airbag now. So, how you guys do that? Okay, I get a Phillips screwdriver or an Allen wrench to like this one. And now, what I'm going to do there is, okay, let's come back a little bit so you can see the whole action from here. There is one spring that you're going to press in, guys, and uh, you're going to compress it, okay, and release the airbag. Now, before you push the spring in, push that airbag in. Careful not to blow in your face. Okay, I'm ready on this side, guys. Now, I'll turn it on this side a little bit. Come to this hole. Now I need to press down. You need to find that spring. I'll show you what we are talking about. Okay, once we get there. Okay, perfect. Came out, guys. If it hasn't been removed at all, it will be really hard. If it has, guys, it will be uh, easier than that. Now, how to disconnect the airbag wires. Okay, this is a little bit more interesting because we have quite a few uh, cables here guys, okay, that we'll need to take care of. First one, okay, this is for the, okay, let me see, this This should be the one for the, uh, for the horn that we will need to uh, disconnect guys, okay, right here, so careful for something not to blow in your face, press on that tooth here. Okay, and you will need to disconnect it guys. Okay, just like that, you can see, came out, perfect. Now, we need to disconnect the airbag wires itself, okay, and we'll show you how to do that. Right here now, okay, you need to press, okay, let me see now. On this one, I think you need to press in. So, now guys, okay, right here, that tooth, okay, <laughs> it moved again. Don't use metal tools or anything like that. Okay, I'm going to compress it in and then start pulling up, guys. Okay, one is out. Now, I have to do one more. Okay, this one is out too. And the airbag guys came out of that Fiat, as you can see, just like that, guys. So that's how you guys remove it. You can see we are ready to continue. So this is, guys, the airbag right here. You can see that's how you remove it. Installation practically is in reverse order. We took it apart. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do anything like that. If you guys have any specific questions, let us know. We'll be more than glad to help you. Make sure car battery is disconnected when you install the airbag. If you're always in an accident, make sure that the wires are not melted here and everything is in great condition because often, guys, when you uh, have an airbag that went off what will happen it will create a lot of heat on the bag because it's explosion and as a result guys this wire ends will be melted and we have a video on the channel that explains actually how to rebuild those it's not too complicated but what i would recommend just go ahead and buy a new wiring harness guys and go the uh, uh, the the best way is to just buy a, a whole new wiring harness now if you guys want to see anything else, uh, let us know. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure something like that out. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.